Hey friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, my name is Garrett. I'm Melissa. And we are the Leffersons, and today we have a subscription box, right? Yes! And it is a new one to us. Well, second one, we just <laughs> gave one of these away. <laughs> It's Enchanted Mysteries. So Alyssa, tell us a little bit more about the Enchanted Mysteries <laughs> box. So Karen, actually, from Karen's USA Adventures, she's another Disney vlogger, if you did not know. She actually lives in the UK, and she has been doing Primark pickups and all sorts of kind of pickups and stuff for a very long time. And just recently, she started these Enchanted Mystery Disney subscription boxes. But she doesn't just have Disney. No. Since she's in the UK, she does Harry Potter. She does like sweet treats from the UK if you're just looking for some UK stuff. She does tea ones. Also Disneyland Paris. Yeah. She's starting Disneyland we, Paris boxes. We were doing some research right before we started filming this and Alyssa's like, she has a ton of boxes. So many. I'll put a screenshot here and kind of go down all of the different box options that she has. But even if you're a Harry Potter fan, they have different like themed mm -hmm. boxes for the different houses. So many different options, but this is the Dream Come True box, which is a Disney subscription box, and it retails for 79 euros. Which no, is 79 pounds. Which sorry. is about $110. <laughs> yes, so we're supposed to get at least that in value, so I'm excited to see what's inside. Now, is this set to preferences or just kind of like the 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 novelty is that it's coming from the UK? Yes, okay. I don't think it's to our preferences. I think when she does the Disneyland Paris box, it okay. will be more towards our preferences. I've never, we never gave her our preferences. Nope. So, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the last box was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and that was not to our preferences. I think she just tries to put a lot of things in there that everyone would like, so. I like that. I'm excited to see what's inside. All right. You it looks wanna... like you do the little pull tab. Yeah, I love so the pull tab. The pull tab. And I think, yes. which way do you open? Oh, no, it's just, it's a straight down box. Oh, oh, fun. Yeah. This is like what it looks like right now. <laughs> All right, pull those cards off the top, man, okay. and let's see what's happening. So, oh, I missed one. I missed one. It's a, it's a business sticker. I love all of her like art. Her actually, her new boxes are going yes. to be this blue with cute little Karen there. There's Karen's little god fairy godmother for us. <laughs> I love it. And just her little business card. So cute. And there's a little sticker holding all of the tissue paper together. All right. All right. You want me to yeah. get into this? Yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. You go, Glen Coco. The, okay. I'm I just what? I just see things that I'm excited for and I don't want to look. For it. I don't want to look yet. Oh. Because there's just is, so much stuff. This is you. I know. This is you. I think you need to start with that. Okay. That's, oh my goodness. What? <laughs> <laughs> he sees okay, something. take this. Take oh this. Oh my gosh. So in the last box that we got, we got this uh, Peter Pan inspired notebook from Menelima. Menelima. Yeah. And they did this, turns out they did the artwork for like the Harry Potter movies and it's just this wonderful whimsical look. And this is from that same place. And let me take the uh, band off. And Garrett's here. gonna geek out again Ooh, because yeah. he loved the last notebook. So notebook. this is a Beauty and the Beast notebook and then it has this unique the style is the style very cool it's unique to them yeah it's a, a trademark almost yeah and on the spine it says the beauty and the beast and then the edges of the pages are gold and gilded but then on the <gasps> inside oh, wow, that's beautiful it has this uh cover art beast beauty uh and it says the wedding now let's see what the back let's see if the back page Okay, oh. so it's kind of the same thing. And then on the back, it tells you a little bit more about uh, Minalima Classics. But then all of the pages are just a lined um, page, probably eight millimeters if I had to guess. Paper people, that matters to paper people. <laughs> I'm just like, that's a really pretty notebook. That's the extent of me. <laughs> and then right on the inside is uh, the chandelier with the monkeys hanging on it. But I like the art of Provincial Belle in the front. Like she's yes. so pretty. Oh. And one thing I did did forget to mention is there is a um, a bookmark, a oh, ribbon bookmark. Let me perfect. get it out of there so you can keep track of what you're going in. This is a nice little little notebook That's so cute. we got here. Not you got here. <laughs> but no, this is nice. This okay. is, and it looks good. It just looks good. I just want to keep going. Okay. I, guys, this is, I'm just going to show you what I see. Oh gosh. It's a huge Jim Shore box. But there's something on the top, so I'm gonna go for that first. Okay. This. Oh, that's you. Oh my gosh, this is so uh, cute. What is this? Oh, it's a 
tote it's bag. It's a tote. Oh, this is adorable. What is this even from? I've never seen this Skinny before. Skinny dip. A Marie tote bag, and it says spoiled, as in spoiled. Yes. <laughs> and on the bottom, it's so, it's Disney and Skinny Dip. So it must have been a collaboration with Skinny Dip, whatever that is. I, I wonder if it's a little... Um, I feel like Skinny Dip might be like a Primark kind of thing. Yeah, like know. did you get this at Primark? She does get a lot of things from Primark, so this might be a Primark thing. Regardless, I freaking love it. That is going to be like, your pool tote this summer. This is a perfect pool tote, and mm -hmm. I think this actually might be my new pool tote to bring to Disney, there too. There go. I always bring a pool tote just so that we can carry, like, a bottle of water, sunscreen. Bottle of wine. A bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever we need. And this is, like, the perfect, this is the perfect it's thing. It's just a canvas tote yeah. with, with uh, Marie on the front I there. I love it. Oh, so cute. Marie. <laughs> I feel okay. like we should save the, the gym short oh, for last. Oh, totally. But there's a bunch of things I, kind of stuck down and down okay, there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take the gym shore out. I'm, I'm gonna cover the sticker so I don't even know what it is. But I mean, it's it's a it's a size, y'all. It's like, a size. This is a Garrett head. That's like a very big box. That's I don't a, know if we've ever gotten a box that big. Because there's okay. a sticker on the side of them that tells you what it is. Pull something else out. Yes. <laughs> so she, uh, as Alyssa said, one of the boxes are the sweet treats from the UK. This one is Cadbury mini eggs. Yum. I think we polished uh, our last one of these off the other day. So thank you once again. <laughs> That's what I love about these Disney boxes is even though they're like Disney themed, they're coming from the UK. So, so Karen food. always puts in some Cadbury. She in does there. put some treats in there uh, always. There's another. Oh, there's more treats. There's oh. arrow mini eggs. Yes, those these were, are those the are gone. best. Yes, these are so good. These are so easy just to just pop one after another and then you reach in for another one and they're not there anymore. Ooh, these are gonna be good. Ooh, okay, so these are Cadbury Spring Edition Peter Rabbit with it looks like white and a dark-ish cho milk chocolate um, that you can... The white chocolate in there yes. is gonna be great. So. If you ever get these, make sure you read the instructions on how to open them. <laughs> Alyssa, no joke, took five minutes to figure out how to do it. And then you couldn't figure it out either. I didn't. So don't judge me. I'm not, I'm just saying. <laughs> and so I said, I said, babe, do you need help with that? And she's like, yeah. And so I tried it and I gave it back to her. And I was like, I think there's instructions. And she's like, oh, and we were both like, <laughs> we're, we, we're not good at opening candy. <laughs> All right, something else in here I'm seeing. Oh, these are so cute. These are, these are exfoliating gloves. I think these are from Primark. And they have little Mickeys on them and little like Earths for like Earth Day. How cute, how cute are these? Exfoliating gloves sound scary. So I think you use them to like wash your face. Do you, I think you might use them with your body, honestly. Maybe for your body too. Do you exfoliate, too. like, do you put soap on it and you're like, mm, I'm exfoliating. Maybe like, it's like a loofah. Yeah, so if so you we're know. we have to try out these. <laughs> if you know what exfoliating gloves are for, let us know. The struggle is real. Like, I'm literally gonna Google how to use this after this video. They're super cute, though. They are adorable. I love them. The reason that it has the globe, my love, is that they're made for using recycled plastics. That's really nice. So it is... Way to go, Primark. Yeah. They're definitely from Primark. I can tell they're from Primark. And it says Primark Cares right underneath that. Yeah. It's amazing what you find <laughs> out when you read the label on things, <laughs> friends. <laughs> so the go back to the chocolate. Just always read the instructions. Proof because you really never know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's <sighs> something else in there. You want to pull it out? <laughs> Hopefully this one we won't need instructions for. Oh, so uh -oh. this so this one was made from the earth because it has it has the earth on it. <laughs> All right, so it looks like it's a pencil case um, from from Primark because it says Primark on there. I love the Primark things. If you are in need of Primark items, you just need to get a, a box from Enchanted Mysteries because all these Primark items are so great. And it has uh, the earth on there, and this case was made from recycled plastic just like the gloves. It even says it on the tag right there, so you know what's happening. I just think it's all Earth Day because like Earth Day is your birthday and like when there's anything like Mickey with the Earth, I automatically think of your birthday. So I'm just thinking it's all made for you, honey. 
They made it all for you. But the inside of it is just a simple pouch. You actually could use this, like if, if pencil case isn't your bag, you could use this for like makeup brushes or other things when you Pins, travel. Pins or like just um, band-aids, mm -hmm. little, I might use that actually just as like a little travel bag for organization because you can never have too many organizational bags, especially like bags that like, this would be good for like a, my backpack for the parks. I like to be organized. It's hard to like, pull through and just have everything laying around. I'd like to have little bags for organization, so it'll be great. Chapstick, all the above. Put it in that bag. Boom. That, I'm sure that looked amazing on camera. I'm excited to see that. All right, are you ready? Last but not, certainly not least, is a great big Disney Traditions Jim Shore fig figurine. We don't know what this is. I haven't even, I haven't even cheated at looking at it. So we're going we on this adventure both together. Gonna be surprised. I think the tape has been cut. Okay. Do you want to pull the top? So let's lift it up. Oh my gosh! Oh, wow. wow, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Yeah, uh, that's okay. Aurora. So this is called oh, wow. Beauty Rare. Wow. So obviously Aurora, Sleeping Beauty, and look how beautiful she is. She's just sitting there. And she's like talking to her animal friends. How cute is this? We've got like the little bunny and a squirrel and an owl and she's holding a basket. Now I will say that Sleeping Beauty is not one of the collections that we have. I think but, that's why I like it. But it is, but what I love about it is how vibrant it is. It, it looks like a cartoon. I know that sounds lame, but it looks I thought I thought the thing I thought this was a book and I was like, oh, the bunny's reading a book. No, I'm, it's just extra cushion. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this though. I really want to do a princess background Ooh, yeah. later in the year, and that will look beautiful in the princess background. And I love how the details are still on her shawl all the way around. And oh, yeah. yes. That's so pretty. This is pretty. Wow. I mean, I like I feel like that's why I love Jim Shores because even even though like Aurora isn't necessarily a princess we collect, it's still beautiful. And like I'm still just like, I love it. And you know? it doesn't scream magic. Like it's very reserved. I yeah. think that's what I like about his stuff is yeah. that it's very reserved. It's not too whimsical. Right. Um, it, like if you saw this from across the room, it just, you wouldn't think anything of it. And then you're like, oh, that's a, that's Aurora. All the details. I love the little flowers at the bottom too. It's very like springy at the bottom and the green grass. And just to the way that she looks like that, that foot and the point. Oh like, yeah. The point of the foot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep, girl. Yeah. I'm vibing. Great. I'm vibing. I had to say it. I had to say it. That's the meme <laughs> for for May. The the 2021. meme. Twenty twenty one. Vibing. Vibing. We say vibing all the time. Vibin'. If you guys see that in any of our blogs, vibing. Vibin'. That just means we're loving life, we're and I'm vibing with this box. Vibin. It does say on her little um, packing list invoice that you need to send like for. What's it called? Customs. Customs for customs, yes. Um, it does say like how much everything was worth. So the total price of everything in the box was 92 pounds. 92 I kept saying pounds. euros, I keep wanting to say euros. Nope. 92 pounds and 50 pence. pence. Is that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the retail price in dollars is around $130-ish. Yeah. And we this box retails for around $110 um, US dollars. Choice. So we definitely got our value. Yeah. That was awesome. That Jim Shore obviously was like the bulk of the value, oh, but yeah. I loved the little, the little Primark goodies. I'm just excited to exfoliate. I, <laughs> as soon as I figure out what to do with these, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it every I'm day. I'm excited though for the chocolate. I'm excited, the notebook is cool. Let's go right in our notebook while wearing our exfoliating gloves and eating our candy. And going to the pool. <laughs> done, done. That's it guys, if you like what we do here, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit that bell icon. Uh, check out Karen's USA Adventures if you like that YouTube stuff. And I'm gonna leave all of Enchanted Mysteries information down below. I'm gonna leave their Facebook group down below. I'll put all of her socials down below. Go check her out. Thank you so much Karen for sending us this box. <laughs> so fun it's definitely like very unique it nothing like any of the other boxes that we get which there's is no why wish I think I list love it. there's no preferences yeah. it's just like it's like a, a complete surprise i'm it. here for it i'm here for it thank you so much if you enjoyed garrett already did all the work we'll see you guys real soon bye guys see you later i'm gonna go exfoliate <laughs>